guys welcome back to my channel just a mom my name is Megan and today I have like a little Thanksgiving update type of video I know in my keto like the first month on keto video that I did I talked about how I was sticking to keto through Thanksgiving and I was all for it up until last night and I, me and my husband got talking and it's just one day like Thanksgiving is like one day not even just a day like we eat one Thanksgiving meal like dinner so one meal that's it like I want to eat like a normal Thanksgiving I decided like I want to have a roll that I make that's like hot out of the oven I want to eat one or two probably two and then mashed potatoes. I don't care for gravy, but I'd like some good mashed potatoes. And I'd like a little bit of stuffing and a piece of pumpkin pie. Like, it's only one meal. And as much as I want to lose weight and get to, like, my goal weight, mentally, I want to have a great Thanksgiving. And I want to enjoy it with my kids. I don't want my kids to ask how many calories dinner is or anything like that. I want them to know that it's okay to eat carbs and it's okay not to eat carbs and that no matter what you eat as long as you're healthy and you're happy that's what matters and i feel that if i cut thanksgiving and change it and like cut half of what we eat out of it and do like cauliflower mashed potatoes and try to make it a normal-ish thanksgiving without all the carbs that yeah, it might still be good and it might still be fun, but I also know I'm gonna be measuring everything and so worried that I'm gonna go over 20 carbs by eating, trying to stick keto, that I, for one, in the back of my mind, will be thinking about it all the time. And two, I won't enjoy it as much. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I like Thanksgiving over Christmas, I always have. I love to cook. And Thanksgiving has so many great memories with for me, like going to my grandma's house and cooking. And Thanksgiving was always a huge deal for me and my grandma and my grandpa. And I want to keep that alive. I want to keep those memories going with my kids. I want them to have fun making rolls with me and just making stuffing and making pumpkin pie and everything that we make that's so delicious and it's one it's one meal like I didn't get where I'm at because I ate Thanksgiving dinner like I'm not overweight because I ate Thanksgiving dinner I'm overweight for all the other garbage and unhealthy food choices I made beef rather than just Thanksgiving like there's 365 days out of the year one Thanksgiving meal that's over 20 carbs is not going to make me like ginormous or fat or whatever like I'll still be the same person I was whether I eat it or not so mentally I'm doing it for that because I mentally I want it like I'm trying to I'm hoping I'm explaining this good but I look at it as it's only one meal if I stay keto all the way till Thanksgiving and then that Thursday I have one meal that is not keto and way over 20 carbs, but that next morning, Friday after Thanksgiving, I'm right back to keto. Or my next meal is keto. That's all it is, is one meal. So I'm gonna have a Thanksgiving Day meal that is not keto. My next meal will be keto, and from then on will be keto. And I might feel like crap, yeah, I might not. It might be what I need. And then all the way up until Christmas, I'll be keto under 20 carbs, drinking my water, doing everything I can to stay in keto. And if Christmas I decide I don't want to have a keto Christmas, then I won't. But our Christmas, we normally do like prime rib dinners. So it's super easy to do prime rib with a nice salad and some sides, and that would be totally keto. Thanksgiving is a little bit different. So that's my plan. Like... I know I said I was going to stay keto on Thanksgiving, and I was bound and determined to up until last night, and we got talking about it, and, like, my husband's not even going to be home, so all the recipes, if they were keto, I would have to make them on my own, 
which is fine. Like, I'm grateful, so grateful that he is working and that he's getting hours because that means we can pay off bills and debt and everything like that. But I also know that it will be easier to just do a regular Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. And that it will be funner too. Like I'm not going to have to stress about gaining or about trying to stay in ketosis or under 20 carbs. Like it's more important for me to enjoy the moment with my family than be so concerned about what I'm eating. So that is my plan. I'm hoping that I don't feel like crap after, but it's my plan. I I might change it up. I who knows, like who knows. But I don't think I will cuz the idea of a hot roll like I don't even care for like a slice of bread. I don't I could go without stuffing. Oh my god. But a roll with mashed potatoes, some pink stuff, and a turkey is what I want with a piece of pumpkin pie afterwards. Like that is what I've been craving. And I don't know how to make keto rolls that taste like regular rolls. So until then, I'm going to have a normal Thanksgiving with some rolls. So I hope that you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. I know it's coming up soon. There's so many things to be thankful for this year. And I do plan on having a video that will go up on Thanksgiving. And it's, it's going to be my thankful list. I thought about doing every Thursday a thankful Thursday. And just do 10 things or whatever that I'm thankful for. But I decided it would be easier just to have it all in one video. And to kind of have it short. And just a thankful Thursday on Thanksgiving and I'm just gonna probably do like I thought about doing 30 so I might do 30 things I'm thankful for and some of them are gonna be super simple like coffee because I I love coffee and I'm so thankful that I can drink coffee and not just drink it but sit back and drink it and enjoy like watching cartoons while I'm drinking coffee with my kids like that is something I'm very thankful for. And so I'm going to have that go up next Thursday and everything like that. So thank you guys for watching this little keto Thanksgiving thing. Um, I've thought about dabbling into keto videos, but there's so many people that do it and my take might be different, but I'm still new at it. And... I think if I do want it, it'll be like a what I eat in a day on keto. And I don't, I don't even know if anybody wants to see that. Like, I watch those, but that doesn't mean somebody else is going to want to watch mine. So I'm still debating that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little ramble of me talking about keto and Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.